Potentially you shouldn't make videos when it's almost 11 p.m. But this is, this is the world that we live in right now, huh, teachers? I know you're up. I know you're staring at your computer screen wondering if your eyes are going to burn right out of their head. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I see the emails today from 4 p.m. So I teach a class for, for Western from 4 to 10 or 4 to 9.45. Four different classes, actually. But during that time, I received 30 emails because I thought I would look because I was just interested to see. Like, I counted. I was like, how many? And granted, some of them were like um, updates of different things with my online instruction, so they didn't actually require action. But my point is, just the idea that you open your inbox and the workday's over and the emails are still pouring in. Like, I know it's 11 p.m. and you're still considering if you should stay at your computer or if you should log off. I know you are. I see you. I see you. I see how hard you're working. And you know, I had an epiphany. I had an epiphany. Last week I had a really, really hard week and I won't go into the details of that because stirring up drama, it's not really my style. And I live in a small town. So when you stir up drama, particularly on the internet, <laughs> it gets around. <laughs> so I'm not gonna go into the details of that, but I will say, um, so I cried myself to sleep over my profession and that hasn't happened in a long, long time. I actually can't remember the last time that I cried myself to sleep over my job because I love my job. If you know me, you know that my job is like the constant, the constant steady within my life. And I, I, am, I feel absolutely called to do what I do. So I don't have a lot of days where I feel a sense of hopelessness in my career choice. I really don't. Most days I feel invigorated. I wake up invigorated and I go to sleep invigorated. And I know you're thinking, man, you're a weirdo. Yeah, I know. I know. I don't know. I just feel really blessed that, that I have that sensation. But long story short, last week was bad for me. And um, on Friday, it was parent-teacher conference. And I was dreading it. And I know a lot of you you know, parent teacher is a hard day to be a teacher in normal circumstances. But with the online instruction, I know that we were all thinking like, oh man, what kind of day is this going to be? But at the end of the day, I talked to so many parents. I talked to a lot on Zoom. I talked to a lot on the phone. Uh, probably statistically one of the best days I've had on a parent teacher. But I caught myself summarizing the day. I said the words to my colleagues parent-teacher was a pleasant experience. And after I said it, I thought, wait a minute, did I just call parent-teacher conference a pleasant experience? Like, what universe am I living in? Like, what? Here I had like a really hard week and I just referred to parent-teacher, which was on a Friday from 10 to 6 p.m. and I just referred to it as pleasant? It's like, what on earth is happening? Let me tell you. Let me tell you what happened. I remembered, and all these parents reminded me. They reminded me that they appreciated me. They reminded me. It, it makes me like emotional just to think about it. Because I was on the phone with these parents who were like recognizing the efforts that were going to, and not just me, collectively, us. And I just want you to know, negativity always speaks louder. Their voices are always louder. They always send more emails. They always write in capital letters. Negativity is always louder. But you know what? There's a whole lot of positive out there. There are parents that are rallying behind you that see how much work you're doing and appreciate that work. So even if you're not hearing those messages, let me tell you, they do. One parent told me, he said, I just can't wait to get back to school where we can show you how much we appreciate you. That's what he said. He wasn't talking about just me. He's talking about us. 
So on the days when the negative seems louder, push back. Push back in your heart and mind. And remember, the positive, they're out there. They're out there. There's a whole bunch of them cheering for us, you guys. And I forget that. I forget it all the time. But they're out there. I heard them. I heard their voices. And they were collectively saying, thank you. And you can do this. Persevere. We know it's hard. I'm just here to remind you. I'm just here to point out the obvious. You're doing a good job. And you can do this. I know you're tired. I know you're exhausted. But you can do it. You've done it before. You can do it again. Come on. Keep going. I'm so proud to work alongside you.